Hi and welcome in our today's video. I want to show you how to create a mini weather station. As you can see, I'm streaming real time temperature and humidity. And this is a very useful and applicable project in so many areas. I have covered the two parameters before, but with different platforms to the likes of Microsoft Azure IoT services. And for today, we'll be using Underfoot. This is going to be very simple and it will take you less than 10 minutes. Now I have documented everything in my GitHub repository and these are the things that you require. Number one, you require an ESP8266 dev board, you require an DHT sensor, you require power supply or a power source and an Underfruit account. For you to create an Underfruit account is very straightforward. You just need to click the link as it has been provided in the repository and definitely as you can see i have logged into my account for your case you need to create an account after creating an account you have to navigate to fins and you notice that you have to create two fins so the first one maybe call it humidity and then create it and then create it again call it temperature create all right, now we have two fins, that is humid and temperature. Now after creating two fins, one of the things that you have to note is um, this name of the fin. Definitely it is going to be very useful. That is uh, the fin name which is hum and of course the other fin name which you have created is the temp fin name. All right, after noting the two fins name, the, the next thing you have to do is you have to navigate and download the code. I have provided the code and actually it's very straightforward code and I will just be showing you what you need to change for your code to work and function perfectly. Alright, so this is the code which I have provided and um, after downloading your code of course you need to copy paste it in an editor. For this case I'm using an Arduino editor and as you can see it's here. Now the first thing you need to change is your Wi-Fi password. You need to change your Wi-Fi password and have the name here and of course have the password here and then you need to also change another thing as you can see i have written and indicated in my code that you need to change the hio username and of course the hio key as you can see in my code here um excuse me it's here so you have to change the hio name for this case and of course the hio key for you to get the hio name you have to navigate just click this key here and you shouldn't be able to get your username and of course your password. Please remember always don't use my password, don't use my username because it is not going to work out. Alright, now after of course um, copying and pasting your username and your higher key, the next thing you have to do is um, compile this. Just imagine we are almost done. But remember I had mentioned that you have to copy your fint name. So it was you, then it was temp all right and after you're done with that everything else is default and um and you're going to go the most important thing to note is your sensor spin as you can see i have defined my sensor pin which is dht is um let me check it out it should be somewhere here all right, all right. So it's here for me. I'm using DHT22. So if you're using DHT11, you have to change here. So please remember to write the right DHT version you are using. And then the other thing you have to notice is the digital pin that I'm using. For this case, I'm using D5. And of course, you have to connect this to your ESP8266 dev board as D5. And after you're done, of course, you just need to save and of course, compile and upload to your ESP. Of course, always you have to select your board. Of course, you have to uh, change this to e ESP8266 and things like that. All right. And after you're done, of course, what you expect is this amazing thing to happen. But before this amazing thing happens, one thing is, which is very clear, is you have to create a dashboard. For you to create a dashboard, it's very easy. Just click on the dashboard. And then after click clicking on the dashboard, you just click new dashboard and then maybe call it new, new, new tech. And then create... And after creating, what you do is click into the dashboard and then you want to add something called blocks, create block. 
and then you want to create a line chart and then of course select your parameters that is humidity and temperature and then click next and after that you have to name it maybe say temp and humidity straightforward then let's say maybe for x it's time timestamp and then maybe this one is units something of the sort minimum value maybe it's zero up to a maximum of 100 of course i'm mapping the humidity from zero to 100 and then after that the next thing we need is to create the block after creating this block of course i want to add more blocks um you have seen this data which is coming in real time as you can see it's refreshing after every like few seconds if you want to create this kind of live stream it's very easy as well you just need to click create new block and choose this one here then you can select your data parameters maybe humidity and temperature there's nothing much to customize here and just give it a name maybe real time real time temp and humid and after you're done with that you just need to click create and then we want also to create another awesome block say maybe you want to create um say you want to create a, a gauge for both maybe humid then just click next and of course you need to say maybe call it hum humidity and of course once you're done just need to click create block it's as simple as that and then the next thing you just need to create a new block again select gauge and then maybe let's say it's for the temperature and then click next the temperature range as of where i am at the moment i've never seen temperature going above 35 degrees then maybe call it temp and you're good to go all right then click click block for you to arrange your blocks you just need to click end it here then maybe this one expand is like this these ones you can arrange them like this and then maybe have this one up here up here um need this one at the top this one up here here and then maybe this real time stream up here that is how you need for you to be able to stream real-time data using ESP8266 and Adafruit and you should be able to read to structure and have something like this if you just want to add maybe say temperature and humidity line graph of itself it's a matter of few steps of course you just need to click here and create new block call it line chart and of course maybe say humidity the next step so all you do here is call it humidity um, x-axis maybe timed stamp and of course um, minimum value is 0 to 100 as simple as that this very easy thing and and boom that's all you should be able to get something like this thank you so very much for following this video i hope it is helpful i need to make sure it's very easy and straightforward to follow in case you find any trouble any queries do not hesitate of course asking me here is the repository and of course the link is in the descri video description and thank you for supporting me always remember to share subscribe and of course support this video Thank you so very much.